All right, welcome back. I do believe I'm so proud of this picture. We're going to talk about semi log plots today. And it has nothing to do with the semi or the fact that it's hauling logs. But I just thought, what an appropriate picture. Beautiful. All right. So let's talk about uh, salami, of course. So here's a situation where I'm ready to retire. I'm Sully, by the way. Hi. Um, and I'm going to move to New York City. I'm going to open up my own butcher shop. It's going to be called the New York Metzgerai, because Metzgerai in Germany is butcher shop. All right. Where he can sell his signature product. What is it? Of course, it's Sulami Picante. Spicy pecan, spicy salami. All right, so I have to cook the meat and then I let it cool. And while it's record, while it is cooling, I'm going to record the temperatures during the process. So I have the time in minutes here that it is cooling, and I have the temperature above room temperature that the salami is. So what I would like you to do right now is very quickly plot those points down here, and then uh, tell me what kind of function it looks like. All right, so pause the video and do that right now. All right, so this one's kind of tricky, but uh, I got some points here. Now, what kind of function does the model? It's, it's clearly not linear. I mean, it is decreasing, but I would say it's kind of forming an exponential curve here. Wouldn't you agree? All right. So now we're going to look at something called a semi-log plot. All right. Semi-log plots are a little bit different. It's called a semi-log plot because one axis is scaled using logs. So this is 10 to the first, which is 10. This is 10 to the second, which is 100. This is 10 to the third, which is 1,000. All right? And we don't start at zero here. Each line goes up here. The first 10, they go up by one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then between 10 and 100, they go up by 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Between 100 and 1,000, they go up by 100. 100, 200, 300, 400, and so forth. So let's see what happens when we uh, plot it on here. All right, so um, my first point was 10 and 51. So 10 over and then 51 up. So remember, this is 10 20, 30, 40, 50, right here. All right, 14 over and 41 up. 14 over and 41 up is going to be somewhere like around here. Okay. 20 over and 30 up. 20 and 30, so this would be 20, 30, right there. 22 and 26. 22 and 26 is going to be somewhere in here. 26 and 21 is going to be somewhere in here, this range. All right. We could keep going, but notice what's happening here. We are now actually forming a straight line. All right. <clears throat> and that's what I want you to understand. What happens to an exponential function when it is plotted on a semi log graph? An exponential function turns to a linear graph. That is big news, all right? So when we take exponential data and we plot it on a semi-log graph where it is scaled logarithmically, that graph becomes linear. All right, so what I want you to do is find the regression equation to model this exponential. Now, again, this is going to be EXP regression, right? And don't forget when you do that, oh, spoiler alerts, that you want to go in and edit all right, you have your two lists, your X's and your Y's. And when you calculate, it's going to be EXP regression, exponential regression. All right, so go ahead, pause your video and uh, do that now. All right, so this is what I found. My A times B to the X, I rounded to 0.95 and 0.94. All right, so now uh, I'm going to just call this Y and I'm going to call this x for no other reason to make the next step a little bit easier but of course we had those in temperature in terms of minutes all right so we, we want to take the log and rewrite the equation so when I i'm going to take the log of the whole thing so log of y equals log of 110.95 times 0 0.94 to the x so let's use our properties here and solve this 
So I can expand this. So this is really log of 110.95 plus log of 0.94 to the x. All right. That's log of 110.95. My product, my product, or my property, blah, 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 my power rule is I'm going to put that in the front. So that's really x times log of 0 0.94. This is just a number. So the, what is the log of 110.95? That is about 2.05. This is also just a number. The log of 0 0.94 is about negative 0 0.03. So I'm going to set minus 0 0.03x. So when I took the log of y, which took the log of the whole equation, what kind of function did I have? Now I have an, a y equals mx plus b. I have a linear right here. And that is why when we use semi-log graphs, exponential data looks linear. All right? That's why. Big, big, big picture right there. All right, some of you are maybe not convinced. Let's prove that what we did would work if we went backwards. So here we go. So we're going to take the log. We're going to straighten this data out. All right, we're going to take it from an exponential to a, a linear type looking graph. To do that, we're going to do the log. So I'm going to press log of L2. That's our y's. So L2. So I'm going to do second L2. Make sure I close parentheses. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to press this storage button right here above the on button. I'm going to store that in L3. All right. I'm going to press enter. Now, if I go to my stat, edit, those values will be right here. What I'd like you to do right now is to fill in this table, plot this graph, see what you find. If you get really good, then find a linear regression. Just remember, you're going to find the linear regression of L1 and L3. All right. Find that linear regression. All right. Go for it. All right, so I took the log of all those y values, and here they are. All right, now when I graphed it, I mean, pretty much linear right there, correct? You guys remember, this is data, so it's not going to be perfect. Uh, but I noticed, what did I notice? I noticed this is now a linear graph. I didn't, I didn't change, this is not a semi-log plot, because this is consistently the same um, difference here, right? This goes up by 10 every time. This goes up by... Oh, okay. I, I, I finagled this one a little bit. This goes up by 0.2, though, here. All right. There should be a break here. I got it. Sorry about that. All right. But it's not a semi-log plot where this goes up by uh, ones, then it goes up by tens, then it goes up by hundreds. This is a linear plot here. So what happened when I found my linear regression? You'll notice when I found my linear regression, 2.045, so 2.05 minus 0.3. Isn't that the same thing we had, right? So the log of y equals 2.05 minus 0.03x, which is what we found earlier. Amazing. All right, so let's take a look here. Example one, I want you to plot this on the normal graph and on the semi-log graph. If it's exponential, um, how do you know? If it's not, if it is, then find a regression for it, all right? Towards the bottom there, I want you to find the logs of y, keep going down, and then find the linear regression of that. So pause the video, do as much as you can. All right, so when I plotted it over here, it's clearly, clearly, obviously exponential. What that means is when I plot it on, an, on a semi-log graph, it's going to be linear, right? <clears throat> Let's say I had a semi-log graph, and this is what I saw. All I saw was this. I didn't see any, anything else. Could I tell you right now what kind of function it is? Yes. It's not linear. It is exponential. So when you look at a semi-log graph and it looks linear, the data is exponential, right? If I looked at this graph, it's a linear graph, right? It's not logarithmic. It's just constant. It's exponential. If I had an exponential looking graph over here, would that be exponential? No, it's semi-log paper, it would not work. All right, so I found this regression equation for my exponential. Let's take the log of both sides. So the log of y equals the log of 2.3 times 2.1 to the x. All right, let's do some log rules. So log of 2.3, I'm gonna expand this, plus, 
log of 2.1 to the x. I know that this is still log of 2.3, and I'm going to use my power, bring it down here, log x times log of 2.1. This is just a number I can put in my calculator, and I find that to be 0 0.36. Zero point three six log of two point one is just a number as well, and I find that to be zero point three two x. So when I took the log, I straightened the data out. I straightened it out, I made a linear equation. All right, let's come down here. I took my graph, all right, I took my uh, data. And I said a law, um, log of L2 to L3. That's what I did there to get my, my numbers there. Could have just done log of 10.1, log of 12. I could have done that. All right, but then I would have had to plug those in to find my linear regression model. And what I did, you'll notice, I found exactly the same. I mean, exactly, uncanny. All right, really good stuff here. All right, so uh, understand, again, Data on a semi-log plot that looks linear is actually exponential. All right. Best of luck. Do your best. Ask for help. Help each other. Ask your teachers. And uh, this is a process. Dream big. I'll see you next time.